hello friends welcome back to laravel tutorial so we will discuss some error when migration okay so we created a fresh laravel application and uh, here you can see all the things and for migration if you want to check database migrations we are getting the default migration when you create our application okay now i want to configure this into uh, uh, our application so we are using the laravel 11 database and username root password root and the mysql connection okay and we created the laravel 11 database okay so database connection is done the thing is when you're going to migrate we are getting some error so what is the error so let's see error first okay. so if you going to migrate simply write php artisan migrate and just enter we are getting this error okay syntax error or access violation 1071 specified key was too long max key length is thousand bytes connection mysql alter table users add a unique users email column okay so the problem is specified key was too long max key length is thousand bytes okay so what is the problem actually if you check in the migrations so let's go to the migration so in the users migration here you can see uh, the name email uh, there are things okay but we have not provide any uh, length it means if you want to create any database column we need to specify the column length but we have not provided in things okay and laravel by default not providing in things so we need to configure accordingly so that this error should not occur so for this uh, we are using the schema so these are the illuminate support facet schema we need to configure the schema globally into your application so that we can get rid of that type of error okay so just go to the app service provider just go into the app provider app service provider here we will just use these things illuminate support facet schema and in the boot section we will just use the default string length so simply specify the default uh, string length default string length uh, let's add 200 okay and just uh, go to the database and refresh this some are migrated some are not so just drop all the things okay and try to rerun the migration let's see whether these are solved or not so just go here and just uh, rerun the migration let's see so now it's migrated and there is no error so hope you can understand what are the actually problem and how we can get the solution so i think you like these things and uh, these are the solution so please share this video with your friends those are facing the same issue okay and uh, please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day